I don't really have a feel for the electric instrument. I admire people who do. I mean, I pick the thing up and I don't know what to do with it. It's just, it's, it's a solid piece of wood. It's heavy. The strings are all steel. Um, the sound is created through electronic means. So you're really playing with a whole different set of parameters. The classical guitar is almost the opposite of the electric guitar. So I certainly admire the stage presence and the genius of, of Jimi Hendrix. I mean, it's just extraordinary, you know, phenomenal. Um, great, a great presence, you know, and, and, and a, a cultural icon. You know, and somebody who was so much uh, of the age, of the age of the rebellion of the 60s, and so much a revolutionary figure. And you know, when he played that national anthem at Woodstock, you know, right in the midst of the Vietnam War, and he played this tortured, you know, you know, this sort of verfremdet, as the Germans would say, you know, this, 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 this you know, re revoicing of the national anthem with such, you know, which had been so, you know, tarnished uh, by uh, the racism at home and the violence plus racism in, in, in Vietnam. You know, we had, it was such, there were such black stains uh, on the American conscience and on the American dream. Um, you know, this, this was just so, uh, such as, I remember the, the epic, and I was very young, but I remember the epic, and, you know, in, in, in that, that's just to mention one of his, you know, many works of, of his short life, um, you know, that ability to be so inside the zeitgeist and to so capture the mood, um, and plus, you know, he's such a beautiful looking person, you know, and, and, uh, Actually, in some of the interviews I've seen, a surprisingly shy person. You know, uh, the, the guitarists have this thing about uh, you know, we sort of uh, two faces of the coin: one part really extroverted, and one part extremely shy, and 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 withdrawn, and 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 reclusive. Guitarists have that very strongly. Those of us in the music business have seen you know so many people playing various instruments, and the instruments. If you if you meet the person and you know the instrument they play, you know an awful lot about their psyche. Um, we, we musicians really, um, you know, we, we, can, we can tell a lot about a person. If we know, if we see the person in front of us and know the instrument, already you know a lot of things about them, sort of in an intuitive way. And we guitarists, even rock guitarists, who seem to be the most extroverted, you know, and almost sometimes obscenely ex extroverted of performers, have also got this, this, this uh, very, you know, sort of hurt little child in there somewhere that's 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 very covered up but it's it's what the guitar is such a personal instrument you know you pick it up you touch it with both hands your fingers are right on the strings in the case of a keyboard instrument like piano or if obviously any of the electronic instruments i mean the, the key, let's take the piano the keys here and it and it's connected to this hammer and it comes out and it and the strings are way back inside the instrument you're not touching the strings except for some of the contemporary pieces where they go up and you know stroke stroke inside of the of the of the where the where the strings are, but in general, you you know you're 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 the key is here and the hammer is coming up hitting the strings way back there. You don't even see them. The strings are you know barely barely seen. So in the case of guitar, you've got your fingers, your hands on the strings. You're touching the strings all the time. And in the case of the classical guitar, the tiniest little imprecision of motion creates a train wreck. So <laughs> um, it's a very it's a very interesting instrument. You know, I've I've always thought of the classical guitar as a, 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 in an extroverted way. It's never seemed to be, people always say, oh, it's such a quiet, delicate instrument. I've never, of course it can be quiet and delicate, but I've never conceived of the guitar as quiet and delicate. And in fact, this guitar concerto is a very, for the most part, a big extroverted piece. The guitar is not a re retiring violet in this piece. The, the guitar is, you know, this piece is utterly unique in the whole repertoire. And the guitar is, is, is you know, this, 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 uh, lion-like hero, you know, f c combating the elements in, 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 in much of the piece, you know. And then, you know, it, it, the guitar exults and it grieves and it weeps. It just, it goes through every, every possible human emotion. Uh, and so playing the piece is really, when you've played that piece, you feel it's almost like it's symphonic. It's perhaps the only truly symphonic scope guitar concerto, uh, certainly the only successful one. Um, and it, it has, kind of has an aspiration similar to almost to one of the 
Brahms piano concertos or something like that in terms of its bigness and the variety of its of its uh, expressivity and, and the power of its of its message.